Hi, Namaskar. A series of information on conserving, preserving and saving water. Water is life. The monsoon has set in and the nature is showering its blessings of pure water for next four months. So let's all get into action by joining hands in conserving, preserving and saving water. Water is the purest form given by the mother nature. But when it falls on a roof, it is likely to get contaminated with the dust particles, bird droppings, etc. Rooftop rainwater harvesting is one of the most simplest, easiest, affordable and popular rainwater harvesting system. We need to connect the different outlets from the roof, interconnect with a pipe and bring it down as a downtake pipe. If it is a tiled roof or a slope roof, you need to interconnect it at the different levels, not spoiling the elevation of your building, painting it with the required color, joining with one downtake pipe near your water source might be a sump tank or an open well. Attach a ball wall or a gate wall to this pipe so that you can block the rainwater and provide a tee above this gate wall or a ball wall. The pipeline which will allow the first rain to go away is called the first rain separator, the first rain outlet or the first flush. The first flush has to be kept open before the monsoons. Water coming out of the first flush has to pass through the filter media and directly it should enter into your sump tank or the open well. The first flush is very important in rooftop rainwater harvesting system as it will allow the first few rains to go away and allow all the dust particles, bird dropping etc. to be flushed out from your rooftop. First flush also helps you in avoiding any further blocking in your roof during the monsoons. In case there is any block or need a small maintenance on your roof or in a piping system, open the first flush gate wall and allow the water to drain out. Your whole system will be free and you can do the regular maintenance of your pipeline, the rooftop, work, etc. This first rain separator also helps you in doing any regular maintenance to be done for your filter. Allow the rain to drain out through this pipe and filter will be free so that it can be taken away for maintenance, cleaning, etc. Many filters claim that they have the first rain separator inbuilt along with their filter. One has to be careful in avoiding the first flush or the first rain separator using these filters. Whatever might be a filter, installing a first rain separator or the first flush is most important in the rainwater harvesting system. Many times we all in a hurry avoid or forget to provide this first flush. If it is a high rise building, say more than three to six floors, provide the first flush with, with a longer pipe. After the rainy season is totally over, you can keep the first flush open continuously. During the rainy season, there might be few dry days where there is no rain at all. Then you can open it and allow the water to drain away and keep the first flush ready for the next rain. This is all I wanted to tell you in this episode of Water is Life. Next episode we will be discussing about different types of filters and what are the best filter possible and how the filters can be made by ourselves. Namaskar.